All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is gonna be an unboxing of the brand new Track Power TK955 digital soldering station. Now, I've actually owned my TK950 for a couple of years now, and have definitely enjoyed uh, both soldering as a kind of a task in the RC industry, but it kind of made it a little bit more fun and interesting uh, having a very good quality soldering station. Well. Of course, uh, Track Power is kind of up the ante here now with the TK955 and gave it a digital aspect to it. So you're able to control the temperature a little bit better than the knob that was found on the TK950. So um, let's take a look around the box really quick. Then we're going to unbox this thing and show you what you get inside of the box. So, of course, your really nice box. They've actually changed the whole design of their boxes uh, as of late, uh, it used to be basically a white box with just basically a black and white box. And they have kind of really brought in some of the, the nice uh, pictures on it. These are all kind of a, uh, a gloss uh, tone and then matte finish on everything else. So pretty nice, but that's enough about the box. Um, really quick, some of the things that are included down here, uh, digital LED display. So you now have an LED display showing you exactly what temperature that you are soldering at. Um, it is accurate uh, to uh, one degree increment, so pretty cool that they can, uh, you just, you know, up it by one degree versus, you know, 10 or who knows what uh, other manufacturers do. Uh, you do have a security key lock uh, to uh, set the selected temperature, so either no one can mess with it or, you know, you know that it, it's for sure that temperature when you are soldering. Um, it holds selected temperature within 1.8 degrees uh, while in idle, and then it does come with a chisel point and a pencil point. Now, I don't remember if my uh, 950 came with both, but from what I use on mine, I use the chisel point on mine, so that's what I know what it came with. I'm not sure if it included the pencil as well. Um, on the other side over here, let's take a look at this, and let's see here. That gives you a good look of uh, what all comes with it. There's that little security key that comes with it, uh, the uh, pencil tip, of course, the chisel, and all of the other pieces of it. It does note here five-year limited warranty, which is pretty cool that they're offering uh, that long of a term. And it uh, looks like it has ready-to-apply decals. So um, I will probably attach those towards the end of the, via or end of the video here. So uh, power outage or power wattage is 60 watts. And it looks like it goes from 392 up to 896 degrees Fahrenheit. Yikes, that's pretty hot. So uh, let's unbox this thing. Let's see what we get inside the box. Looks like it has like this little flip thing right here and pops right open to some styrofoam. And it looks like we have uh, some of the pieces here immediately. Looks like uh, here's all of the decals that they were talking about earlier. I'll go ahead and install those maybe in a break here between the two segments of the video. Looks like here is the uh, little security key. Uh, kind of a neat feature. It has actually two of them in there in case you happen to lose one. You always got a second. Keep it in the box. That's what I would do. Looks like you have the actual uh, soldering uh, wand here and has the chisel tip already installed. Looks to be the same as the TK950 from what I remember. And then it has the plug-in that goes straight into the module. Nice grip on this thing. It has a nice rubbery grip. And I know on my TK950 you can definitely feel the warmth uh, but it's not too hot once you get up to the point here. But, you know, when you're soldering at, you know, six, seven, eight hundred degrees, you're definitely going to feel some heat. So it has like some holes in here for deep, uh, heat dissipation, which is nice uh, before it gets up to your skin, which is always good. Looks like they have uh, taped in here and probably in my original TK950 box is the pencil tip. So uh, might be in my original box for my TK950, may not. And inside here, you're going to see all of the other goods uh, for the TK955. And let's see here. This looks to be very similar to the TK950. Not much has changed on at least the wand stand. Let's open this thing all the way up so we can check out what it looks like. What's really cool about uh, some of these uh, soldering stations, you know, versus just a, a lone soldering iron is they actually give you all the pieces that's needed to solder safely. You know, having a stand is always important. So nice heavy duty stand. This seems to be all uh, a cast aluminum, it feels like. 
I may be wrong on the uh, you know the type of metal, but very very nice uh, quality unit. It does come with this little sponge right here with a little hole, which I always uh, take out to have a, a place to uh, put the uh, the tip of the uh, soldering iron to get most of the excess solder off of. This thing will obviously expand once you get it wet. So very nice thing that they're giving you one of those. Um, lastly, this is going to be the entire module here to uh, get your heat going, get you soldering out there. So it looks to be very similar to the TK950, but of course you have that nice digital uh, display right there. So has looks like it has three digits that it displays the up down has an asterisk right there maybe a hold button I'm not sure I'm going to have to read into that there's the plug right there to plug your wand into looks like you have your power on off switch right there which is nice bottom side not too much to talk about on the other flip sides also not too much so well that's it let me go ahead and get some stickers going here and I'll show you what the final product looks like all right, and I'm back now, and I went ahead and got the decals uh, placed on it. I got it plugged in. I want to show you guys just kind of the, the fire-up of this unit. Uh, really quick on the decals, they went on uh, very easily. You know, of course, um, I took a lot of uh, time and attention to detail on placing them, so they look all nice and perfect on there. Uh, there was two that I chose not to place on uh, my TK955. Uh, one is going to be this one that goes actually on the wand, kind of like on the handle right here. Chose not to place that. I didn't like the one that went on my uh, 950, so I'm choosing not to put it on this one. The last uh, uh, decal that I chose not to put on was this kind of face plate that goes on the front of it. As you see, there's already a, a really nice kind of vinyl decal uh, that's placed on it that's a little bit nicer than a sticker, so didn't want to interrupt that that's already done correctly. Now lastly, before I fire it up, uh, I read a little bit about the security keys and what's kind of cool about this is there's two different security keys here and it looks to be, and you know, I need to read a little bit further into this, uh, you can have a security key and go ahead and program a particular temperature that you like using on this unit. So let's say you like to solder it 725 degrees, you can go ahead and set it to your security key when you remove your key, you can pretty much do anything you want with it. When you put the key back in, it'll go straight back to 725. So pretty cool little feature that they added to the TK955. Now really quick, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see how this thing works. Um, you'll see 750 is set right there and it's climbing uh, very quickly actually. We're already up to 300 degrees um, and, and rising here. Uh, it looks to be uh, you know heading north of 450 now. Um, the asterisk button on there, you'll see that there's an up, there's a down in the asterisk. Asterisk function has to do with the security key, and you can read more about that in the owner's manual. So it looks right now we're up to 560. This thing is uh, definitely getting warm. You can kind of see um, some of maybe the initial uh, residue that might be on the unit. I've already kind of wet this thing. A little sponge right here. Sending off a little bit of smoke, which is good. And we're already up to almost 700 degrees. Well, guys, I got some soldering to do. I need to solder up some uh, electronics in my D413 buggy from Hot Bodies. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I can't wait to use this thing. Well, guys, if you have any questions about this soldering station from Track Power, please feel free to post them on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.